Mike, another good drill for you to use is the preset hip drill. The way we initiate that training swing. And you can turn it into drill to play shots as well. I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about today is the question of depth. You said that you, you lack depth in your golf when you need a better depth. One of the main reasons for that is what people do with their elbows. Me, for example, I'm an under golfer, so I keep my elbow more in front of my body. But when I come down, that elbow is going to be more in front of my body. That keeps me in an under attitude with my forearm. Guys like you that are either side on or on top, somewhere in between, they need more depth. Their elbow needs to go back. If you remember watching Jeff Quinney over the last couple of years, he makes a little takeaway move as if he's sliding that right elbow up the side of his body. And that's sort of how he initiates his takeaway. Then from there he turns back. You can see how much deeper the shaft is, how much deeper my right arm is when I pull over the top when you do that. So that's one of those feelings. On the opposite side, your left arm has to create depth as you go through the ball. So from impact, you want to feel that left arm go this way. This is what Hogan did. You'll actually see his left arm begins to fold up this way as he unhinges in this direction. He turns, club rides up the plane, and then he go ahead and he refolds up to the top. So if you can get some of that elbow back, elbow back feeling in your swing, you're going to find out you're going to get more depth and it'll match up with the turn I'm trying to get you to do in that preset hip drill and in your training swing. And I just performed a little partial swing trying to get that elbow action working. And interesting enough, most people think the ball is going to go way left when they do that. In reality, that ball actually went a little bit to the right. Let's watch a few more of those. Now, although this is a partial swing and sort of an over-exaggeration of the action, you'll see this in uh, teachings like uh, Jim Hardy's one-plane swing. You'll also see it in Jeff Ritter's teachings as well. So having a little bit more depth in your golf swing, letting that elbow ride more inside, like it's planing up an incline plane just like you want the shaft to do, is something that's really going to help you in your golf swing. I'll take all these tips and I'll break them down. I'll put them on YouTube for you and maybe even post them on the blog so uh, we can get some feedback on them. Uh, happy holidays and take care. We'll talk to you later, Mike.